What's going on guys? What's going on? How are you doing? This is Shocks and this is Shocks Capital FX and today and today I'm going to show you how to trade consolidations in forex. So first of all guys, welcome back and if you are new here guys, we talk about institutional trading, talk about ICT, talk about demand and supply, order flow trading. So if that is something you are looking forward to learn, explore, and maybe when we are talking about consolidations, it's something that uh, that confuses a lot of people, especially on how to actually trade consolidation. So I'm here to show you the easy way of going around consolidation or and actually profiting from uh, from consolidation. So I'm gonna use an H4 chart. So this is uh, first of all I'm gonna show you on on nzd usd and this is what i'm going to show you okay for example for 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 starters guys let's first uh explain what i mean or what we mean by by consolidation so a consolidation is a situation whereby we are having price failing to go beyond a certain high or a certain low for maybe for the second time for the third time okay so this is a high price comes and re fails to go beyond this like i mean beyond beyond like go beyond then comes back fails to take out this law then goes again and fails to take out this so this is the third time so first time second time first time second time so from this point from this point you are already considering this as a what as a consolidation so your upper line has to has two touches then your your line which you are going to be putting as your support base there is a, a resistance base and a support base. So the support one has to be has to have two touches. Then the one on top has to have two touches too. So the third part, the third touch is your end. If you are someone who enters close to the what, close to the to the extremes or who trades on the fringes. But here I'm going to show you the right way to trade. So before we go any further, guys, I want you to know that after you identify the resistance level and the support level you have okay guys so uh, i said we are going to drag a fib first before we 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 start uh, considering where we are going to be putting our trade so you drag a fib with these three three parameters where you're having the 50 percent zone the hundred and the zero so what we are going to to do is the 50 is the one you are interested in because you have already uh, identified your what your resistance and your support so this middle line is just there to show you where you are going to be entering your sell positions and your buy positions because in consolidation we enter both directions we trade both directions so now i will need you to 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 kind of read the market structure within these 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 consolidations so after this second one you are going to see that after this second touch we have what you call a break of structure inside the what inside this we have a break of structure and price coming back to retest a what an order block like this so this would be what your 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 sell end why because it's above the what the 50 percent level so you can be selling anything above this level and be buying anything below this level and your take profit your first take profit is the 50 percent line and your second is the the extremes here so right now you are going to see that break of structure price comes back retest this zone comes and what and gets you in your trade taps you in then comes to the what the retest or retraces to the to this order block here you see so it retraces to that order block and since we are on the right side of the sell side of the 50 percent uh, i don't know if you understand that one but i hope you do then we are going to enter our buy here and target this what this midline and the, the next take profit is our what is this order block right here so when it comes back to this you are selling here and you are buying here and you are looking at your market structure and so, so i i need you to tell some i need you to understand something in these consolidations guys if you are uh, going to use uh, this strategy or you are going to use this idea in your trading or in trading on consolidations i want you to avoid by all means to enter yes i know a lot of people and a lot of books 
tell you to enter your cell here and your buy at the extremes here but i have a, a very unique uh, point of view there are a lot there's a lot of manipulations that happens in uh, uh, these zones the support and the resistance so for you to 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 actually do well with consolidations i want you to avoid taking these trades wait for break of structure like this after price uh, after price retests these zones these extreme zones wait for break of structure and wait for these types of uh, of order blocks they are close to the extremes but they are not at the extremes then you enter your cell take profit and take profit you know what you are doing so you avoid this one you wait for this break of structure right here so this is your break of structure you wait for your break of structure right there and you enter this this what this trade and this is how oh you 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 trade what consolidations okay so what is happening here we have one touch two touch so we start taking trades here so as i was saying i said you wait for this break of structure then you wait for a, a retest of what of this order block and here how many do we have we have one two and what are we waiting for we're waiting a break which uh, is already in play so what are we waiting for we are waiting for price to come back to this area to this area and buy so why are we buying we just drag our fib and see our buying region and our selling region so this is sells this is buys so the upper part of the chart or of the 50 percent line from the fib is called premium then the lower part is our discount so we're just buying at a discount and selling at a premium business 101 so that's what we are doing let's look at another example uh this is not clear so we are just gonna leave it let's look at this so cherry pick cherry pick cherry pick cherry pick okay so we have one two touches then the third touch you are waiting for what for um buy or sell then one two so first of all identify the what you identify the the extremes this is the extreme this is the extreme so we are dealing with which range this range from here to here this is our range this is our consolidation range then we mark order blocks right so this is this yellow zone down here is your support order block then you mark the other order block which is this one so the, yes there are order blocks also in what in consolidation this is ec uh, euro card so this is a euro card so one two this is your next trade so you enter here your buy your way is your first take profit 50 percent zone right so this is the 50 percent area you enter buy right or you wait for break of structure which is here and you enter you enter at your what at your order block when price comes back retest it you enter there your stop loss just goes below this pin this pin right here plus spread so that's how you are you are doing it and when price comes back retest it you might get it uh, on a sniper so you know you can be going lower time frame and refining your entries uh, I, I have a video about that just search a video on entries and as you can see we are seeing price uh, is just getting out of the range uh, slowly slowly getting out of the range as you can see but we can be trading ranges as price goes so the statistics say price spend 70 percent of his time in consolidation so it's actually good for you if you know how to trade these uh, consolidations because you are going to profit a lot using these techniques and let's just say break of structure here then you see there is a what an order block so this is a rejection block as you can see and this is your range and you are buying here you are selling here so this is how you 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 look at consolidations and this is how you profit from consolidation so there's consolidation here you can you can see it you can see it. this is the the support zone and this is the what the the supply zone demand and supply so what are you doing you are looking for this break of structure and you are looking for a retest of some what of some order blocks like this you are looking for retest of order blocks and you are going 
So this is what you are doing. Break of structure inside that consolidation and you are looking for that end. This is another consolidation. And what are you looking for? This is break of structure. This is break of structure. As you can see, this is break of structure. And as you can see, price came back to what? To retest this order block and went up. So how are we defining your 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 your, your range? You have this and you have this order block so this is consolidation and you're just looking for break of structure and return to order block inside the consolidation so this is the way guys this is the way to trade this consolidation and this is another one you see one two touches three touches you are doing business and what are you doing break of structure i move back to retest the order block as you can see in this area then what do you have here we have break of structure we have price coming back to retest the what the order block do you see that retest of order block and it went up like that so this is what you are doing and this is how you do it uh, the right way so you are just trading what you are seeing guys you're just trading what you're seeing break of structure and this is the order block look at what price did came back retest the order block and went up and uh, also we have what we call um is this a breaker yeah so we have a breaker retest inside the consolidation break of structure then retest okay let, let's just draw this break of structure right this is the order block we are considering this little blue candle retest and where is your first take profit drag your feed your 50 percent area this is your first tp and after that we are looking at the extremes so most of the times price will not get back to the extremes as you guys would expect that price trades from demand to supply supply to demand demand just in oscillation like that doesn't work like that this is how it works and this is the right way to look at consolidations and actually profit from these consolidations where you'll be seeing there's too much noise and some some boys will be seeing trades there so this is how you will be doing it and uh, uh, be sure to to go to your lower time frames and actually refine your entries so that you can you can have a better risk to reward ratio in this uh, in this consolidation do you see that we have this then we have this so this is consolidation what are you doing break of structure return to what to the mitigation block you are in break of structure here return to break of structure right return to what to retest this order block what are you seeing again break of structure return to what to retest this order block so this is what you are seeing and this is how you are doing your what your trades and this is the right way to trade guys to trade consolidation and to understand consolidations you see do you see that break of structure return to order block and something like that so guys thank you for being here thank you for watching i would appreciate your subscribe i would appreciate you you turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss a video i care about you and don't forget to trade what you see